One of the nation's first community-based medical schools, Michigan State University College of Human Medicine has been partnering with local communities since its founding in 1964. One of these communities is Flint, which is home to the college's public health-focused initiatives. There, the Flint Public Health Research Advisory Committee brings together university, local hospital, government, and community stakeholders. This long-standing community partnership played a central role in exposing toxic lead levels in Flint's water system. Today, the partnership is stronger than ever. Recently, the community, college, and Hurley Children's Hospital launched the Pediatric Public Health Initiative. These Flint partnerships are indicative of the college's distinct approach for supporting diverse communities across Michigan. Other programs reinforce this collaborative model, including the Rural Physician Program, integrated engagement planning across college campuses, and required community service for students at Michigan State University College of Human Medicine. It was the only option for me for my clinical campus. I knew coming into medical school here that I would want to be in Flint. I can remember when I was about eight years old, my grandpa said, you're going to be a doctor. I don't know, I just keep saying that, but Flint just felt like home to me. It just really felt like I fit in here. It felt like the right place for me to be to continue that training. LMU to me is um, a hands-on experience that provides student doctors with access to people at a level that extends beyond medical care and treatment, but that is so valuable and important in medical care and treatment. Because a person may present with high blood pressure and the pills may not work because they're still worrying about you know, how they're gonna keep their lights on. And these students will know and they'll know the questions to ask. No matter how hard and difficult the, the living became and the, the many challenges that have occurred as people have left the city, the core of what has been left um, are, are beautiful, welcoming, warm people and, and they're going to survive this. They have made it through everything else that has happened at this point and they know they can survive. It's our job to do more than just be a physician in a clinic that cares for patients. We have to advocate for people and we have to be the ones to stand up and shout from our rooftops when something's not going right because if we don't, who will? Our faculty and students live and work in amongst the nine million people who are in the communities that we serve. If our people treat the people of our communities as collaborators and equals, and we focus on being useful and doing good in the world, then we are a part of the community. And that makes us a community-based medical school. And it makes it possible for us to contribute in ways that help the people of Michigan uh, improve health, improve science, and um, we also succeed when we do that. There are a huge number of people to thank. I, I want to start by acknowledging uh, the support and confidence of uh, President Luana Simon of Michigan State University and President and CEO of Hurley, Melanie Kowalik. They just told their people to do good work and that they would take care of the rest. And in a stressful, difficult, highly political situation like the Flint water crisis, there are so few leaders who will give their people the freedom to do that. I want to thank Ray Schnuth for putting together our submission and Lisa Galbavi for uh, doing the site visit. And I need to thank Marsha Rapley, who was our previous dean, for providing vision and freedom to do the work that we do. And Norman Beauchamp, our current dean, for continuing that vision. Our students, our residents who do so much wonderful work, but mostly I want to thank our faculty who actually make our work possible, whether it's Mona Hanna, Atisha, and Rick Sadler, or the people who run our programs in our rural communities like Andrea Wendling and Bill Short and Patty Copley, or our leadership for the Medically Underserved program. They do so much work to make the world a better place, to provide a better education for our students, and make our community stronger.